other day I was watching Ayoshita and she was comparing return to the office to Newton's law of inertia. Watch this. You know Newton's law of inertia? If a body is in a constant state of work from home, it will tend to remain in that state unless acted upon by an external force. What is that external force and who is going to apply it? Nobody knows. So it is still TBD. So funny. So we studied Newton's three laws in school. I'm sure that most of you are familiar with a lot of other laws like the law of karma, law of attraction, etc. There are many such laws, universal laws. Today I'm going to share with you three powerful laws of life and if you practice this your life will never be the same. Let's get started. The law of creation. We are co-creators of our reality. We have the power to create. I repeat, we have the power to create our lives and make things happen through our thoughts, actions and determination. So by connecting with our inner self and tapping into our inner power, we can unleash our true potential. I'll give an example and explain. J.K. Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter series, you all know, right? So before Rowling succeeded as a writer, she faced a lot of challenges, hardships, including unemployment, poverty, loss of her mother. Despite facing many obstacles and setbacks early on in her career, she continued to believe in herself and her abilities as a writer. She connected with her inner potential and used it to create one of the most successful book series of all time. We really and truly are the co-creators of our reality. So how to unleash this power? Step one is self-awareness. You know, understand your thoughts, emotions and beliefs. Recognize how they shape your reality and how is it influencing your actions. Number two is set clear intentions. Define what you want in life and create a clear vision of your desired outcome. The third one and most important one is take inspired action. When you receive intuitive guidance, act. It's called inspired action. When you are aligned with the universe, you, know, you get a lot of thoughts, right? You have to take action. If you know J.K. Rowling's story, you know, she got this idea of Harry Potter during a train journey from Manchester to London you know, way back in the 90s. And, and she took inspired action. The last one is trust the process. You know, trust that the universe has your best interest in mind and will guide you towards the best possible outcome. We are the co-creators of our reality. Number two, the law of growth. The more you give, the more you grow. You know, there are different dimensions to this law. I'll take a you know, corporate example to connect this. The story of Sundar Pichai. Pichai or Pichai? There's an AI at the end anyway. Sundar Pichai joined Google in 2004 as a product manager. He demonstrated strong work ethic, excellent leadership skills, and a keen ability to understand customer needs, which led to the development of a lot of successful products like the Chrome, OS Chrome, and Google Drive. So he consistently went above and beyond his job responsibilities, taking on additional projects and challenges. So his contributions played a significant role in Google's growth and expansion into new markets. And he moved up the career ladder you know, really fast because of the impact he made and the value he created. And in 2015, Sundar Pichai was named the CEO of Google. Now he's the CEO of Alphabet, you know, the group companies. So by consistently doing more than what is expected and contributing to the overall success of an organization, you can grow you'll be recognized and you'll advance in your career. Now there is this t-shirt code. It says, I'm not paid enough to be nice to you. <laughs> you know, they got it wrong. The truth is, if you are nice enough to your stakeholders, you'll be paid enough later. That's the law. If not now, later. A Six Sigler says, you can get everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want. A millionaire is someone who is adding value to a million people. A billionaire is someone who is adding value to a billion people. It's not about money, it's about value, it's about the impact. Whatever you give is what you receive. By giving, you're creating a cycle of that positive energy and that eventually it returns to you. The more you give, the more you grow. The law of detachment. Detach yourself from the outcome to achieve your goal. This is my favorite law. If you go behind something obsessed, 
like I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this with a lot of feverishness, you will never get it. But when you let go of it, it'll come to you. You know, recently in an interview, A.R. Rahman, he was talking about how he got his first break and like how Mandithnam showed up in his life. Watch this. Very strange mental situation, right? Past five years from I would build a studio or bought my equipment, there was a kind of um, Zen mode where I felt like if I chase anything, it'll go away from me. This detachment mode. If it has to come to me, it'll come to me. You know, like that. In one of the most powerful teaching in Bhagavad Gita, the principle of detachment, vairagya. It says, don't worry about the fruits of your action. Just focus on the present. Focus on the process. Perform your duties without attachment to the outcome. I know it's not easy, you know, but that's how it works. MS Dhoni explained this is so beautifully. Watch this. People don't think about the result. It's a result that puts pressure on us. You know, what if this happens? What if we don't win the game? What if we don't get selected? But again, worry about the controllables, you know, and whatever the controllables are, we take care of it, we'll get the desired result. If we don't get the desired result, we'll improve. You know, that's what it is. Uh, thinking about the result never gives you result. Yes, we may have a target in mind, but what is more important is to take care of the small steps in life. You know, what needs to be done, what I am supposed to do, what extra I can do, and you know, that will help us achieve the target. So let go of attachment to outcomes. Do your best and surrender to life's flow. So in conclusion, these three powerful laws of life, the law of creation, the law of growth, and the law of detachment, they are interconnected and can transform your life in remarkable ways if you practice. So when you embrace your inner power to create your reality, your thoughts create your reality. Give selflessly to others and let go of your attachment to the outcome. That's how we unlock the doors to personal growth, success, happiness and fulfillment. So let's create, grow and let go and experience the magic. Thank you so much for watching. I am Srijit Krishnan. Stay happy, stay healthy.